everyone and thank you for joining me in an end of year update video. Today I have a lot of stuff I want to talk with you about. But first, let's talk about 2020 in general. This year has been pretty shit. I think most people have had a really, really rough time. Uh, myself included, it's been really busy with work. We've had people leave our company so that well, I've been busy and I just haven't had enough time to open these figures. So I do apologize to all of you that we haven't been able to get a lot of these figures opened. But I do have a lot of plans going into 2021 and hopefully things will look a lot more positive in the year coming. So let's hope for that. Now, there's a lot I want to cover with you today. First, we're going to go through some of the figures that we have got in the past couple of months that you haven't actually seen yet. Some of you might have seen them like photographed on the channel, but Anyway, I want to show you what's coming. Next, I want to talk about what we're going to do in 2021. This includes some of the filming, some of the places we're going to visit, some of the stuff that I really, really want to do with you all. And finally, probably one of the most important points for a lot of you, we're going to look at what figures we have bought or are looking and hoping to get for 2021 coming forward. So let's get straight into it. But first, this is a call out to Neo Strawberry. Neo Strawberry, you won the giveaway. I still have your prize here. Please send me an email because I want to send it to you. Thatch Cook already sent me one. I sent that to them and I'm really happy that they got it. So that was really fantastic. Neo Strawberry, come on, just send me an email. Okay, now that you've had a really weird close up of my face, let's have a look at some of these figures. First, we have the Autumn Season 3 Miku figure that came out in Japan a couple of months ago. I already put up a video of how we won this. It actually still has like the tag kind of piece here. Um, and I know a lot of you really enjoyed watching that, so I am going to try and do that a lot more if I can going forward. We'll talk about that in a bit, but this will hopefully come when I get a chance. Soon, 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 soon. Next, we have another noodle stopper. This time is a Yugi Boy stopper. Um, I do like Yu-Gi-Oh! I saw this and I thought, oh well, maybe Yugi could be a cool kind of stopper to have. We're probably going to end up with a lot of these, so uh, there's this one. On the topic of noodle stoppers, we also have a tangible noodle stopper. I won this in the game centre a couple of weeks ago. Again, I didn't film it. I apologise for that. Um, but also, there is a Zenitsu one that has come out, so we have to get that. Which also means there's going to be an Inosuke and probably a Nezuko. We're going to have a lot of noodle stoppers, so uh, maybe we can just get them all lined along the top here. A bit like the uh, Alice and the Yui we have up there. So uh, yeah, this one should hopefully come in the next couple of months. So I've just talked about Nezuko. We actually have another Nezuko figure. This is the Glitter and Glamour's Nezuko figure. The quality of this looks fantastic. Much, much better than the butt ugly Sega one that we got before. Um, I don't think I've put this up yet, so uh, yeah, prepare to be disappointed. But for this one... Do prepare to be excited. I'm actually really, really impressed by what I saw, so this will come hopefully actually quite soon. I actually got my hands on a figure that I have wanted to get for a little while. We've got the 10 year anniversary Miku uh, Taito Kuji figure. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, Taito Kuji. Yeah, this is a bit like that uh, Miku, the Sakura Miku that we got before, but this is actually for the anniversary. Uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on this for a little while, so I'm finally happy that we have one. So this will come soon. And finally, a figure that I actually got yesterday. We have a beautiful Snow Miku figure. And yeah, wow, I'm really excited for this one. I didn't even realize this was coming out. It was actually when I was winning that Nezuko figure, I saw the release for this on Christmas day. So uh, yeah, I actually, I got it on Boxing Day. Uh, I was a bit, a bit late, but wow, this looks super, super cool. So very, very excited for that. So that's everything for the figures that we have gotten recently that you have not seen. We do still have a ton of figures we haven't opened. I believe there's about 15 or 20 back there. After I film this, I am going to try and get a lot of them filmed and kind of pumped out. But what I do want to do from now, I want to talk to you about some of the things that are coming in 2021. So first, we're going to do a few more live streams. Now, one of the last live streams I did, or at least tried to attempt to do, led to me getting this beautiful, beautiful scar here on my face. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to stream myself playing rhythm games and one thing led to another, my phone dropped on my face and yeah, it was a bit of a mess. But I am hoping to go out and do a lot more live streaming. So this is going to be places like Akihabara, we're going to go around a few places in Tokyo. I live in Osaka, so there are a ton of places that I can take you. I do want to hear where do you want to go? One place I really want to film, and I can film any time here, is Nipponbashi. 
That is the Akihabara of Osaka. And in my opinion, it's a little bit better. It's kind of nicer. Very used to that place. So yeah, I'd love to take you on a tour around there. Next, I will try my best to film myself winning some of the prizes when we actually go out to win them. I don't always have my camera with me. It's heavy. It's a lot to carry. So if you guys are all happy with me filming on my phone, then I can do it any time. But a lot of the time, trying to focus holding the camera and also pressing buttons to try and get the prize to drop can be quite tough. So that's going to be kind of here and there. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't. But uh, I will try, okay? Next, one of the reasons I actually started this channel was to actually film a lot of places that I want to visit, just to recommend to you all. Under the COVID kind of situation, that's become really, really tough. But there is one event I do plan to go to in February, given that hopefully things are going to be improving soon-ish. Really do hope. Wonderfest! I saw that Wonderfest 2021 is going ahead, and that is one of the biggest figure festivals in Japan. Last year we had a blast, it was our first time to actually go there. This year I think I have a little bit more kind of confidence to film stuff and like a bit more energy. So I'm really really looking forward to that. So I hope you are too. I can't wait to see what figures are going to be coming out later this year. Or later next year. Or the year after. Anyway, lots of figures. Lots of figures. And finally, we have figures that are going to be coming out in 2021. So as you would expect because of the coronavirus, a lot of the figure releases that we were hoping for this year have been delayed. Actually, some of them have been significantly delayed. We were expecting one to come at the beginning of January. It was an Odin Sphere figure. I was very, very excited to get it and open it and kind of review it with you all. But that's now been pushed back to the middle of next year. Yay. <laughs> but for other figures that we do have pre-ordered, ready to come, let me just give you a quick look. First is a Snow Miku figure. This looks fantastic. I mean, it absolutely stunning. I <laughs> cannot express how excited I am to get that figure. That should come hopefully in March, April time, but I'm pretty sure that that is going to be delayed till much later in the year. We also have the Miku Mythos figure. Again, this was another beautiful looking figure. Um, looks like it's based on a very kind of Chinese or kind of like oriental kind of like motif. Very, very excited for that too. But again, that's probably going to be delayed. And there is also another Odin Sphere figure that we have pre-ordered that is being released in 2022. But who knows, that will probably come in 2023. I mean, it's just all delays after delays after delays. But we did get a lot of unexpected scale figures this year. That Shinobu was very unexpected. And again, I love hearing your recommendations. If there are figures that you want me to uh, like get and open and put on the shelf, let me know. I'll see what I can find because there's a lot of cool stuff out there. But yeah, 2020 has been a pretty shit year. Not going to be around the bush. It's been terrible for most people. But let's hope, let's really hope that things start to improve and look good for 2021 going forward. But that's everything from me. Everyone, please stay safe. Please take care of yourself, especially during this kind of festive season. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video coming very, very soon. Okay, bye!